it's me, Kaden, and this week's video is going to be a lot different because I'm going to show y'all how to properly care for hermit crabs. So if you don't have interest in hermit crabs or you just don't want to learn how to take care of them, then click off this video because that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So I have two hermit crabs. One is Flounder and one is Sebastian. So I'm going to insert some photos of them. First things first, don't get hermit crabs unless you have at least $50 to spend on them because that includes the soil and sand and the water and the little food and water bowls and plants and this thing. And that doesn't even, even that doesn't even include the hermit crabs. So $50 plus the money you spend on your hermit crabs. Also, another really, really important thing is um, I got my hermit crabs from the like beach thrift shop, you know, and not thrift shop, but like gift store. And um, I got mine without paint. And that's super, super crucial because um, Painted shells can like aggravate hermit crabs. Try to get the more natural shells, which I got. Oh, do you see Sebastian? I think you do, but he's kind of seeing what's going on. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is food. So as kind of their like main course food, I just use this hermit crab food that came with the hermit crabs. They like this stuff, they eat it. And, I mean, they haven't gotten sick or anything from it. So, I suggest this. Um, just do your research. It all kind of depends on your hermit crab, if they like it or not. Also, um, it's really important to, like, switch up their diet. So, um, maybe put some fruits or vegetables in their tray. It just helps, like, them have a variety. Because, I mean, you wouldn't want to eat mashed potatoes every day. Well, I mean, I, I would, but like, it would kind of get old after a while, you know, you know? Any fruit that's like citrusy, like oranges or lemons or like strawberries or limes or anything like that, they cannot have because they don't like citrus. But uh, fruit they can have are like bananas and apples, probably not Granny Smiths because they're kind of like sour and citrusy. Um, but just like bananas, apples, grapes, um, just really anything that does not have citrus, do not feed your hermit crab citrusy things. Some veggies they like are lettuce. Um, I just feed mine just romaine lettuce. I heard that like iceberg lettuce is really bad for them, so don't feed your hermit crab iceberg lettuce. Carrots, cucumbers, snap peas. My hermit crabs love snap peas. Um, but yeah. Always like mash them up. Well, not mash them up, but like cut them up into smaller pieces. Because um, if you put a huge chunk of cucumber, they're just going to kind of nibble at it or pick at it. And you're just going to be wasting a bunch of cucumber. So just kind of cut a few pieces and put it in their food tray. And so the next thing I'm going to talk about is water. So hermit crabs need normal water, like fresh water and salt water. Now for fresh water, it's pretty easy. You just purify some water and um, you just kind of like put it in your water bowl and that's pretty much it. Don't give them tap water because that like has chlorine or other bad things that could clog up their organs and stuff. You'll also need like a spray bottle because you'll need to like spray down the tank at least twice a day. I do it three times a day. I know y'all work and have school and stuff, but I just do it in the morning and then I do it after school and then I do it at night. Um, that just keeps the soil and stuff moist and um, keeps the humidity in, which is another uh, important thing that I'm going to talk about later. Now for salt water, it's a little bit different. It's not too hard, but you'll need to use like coarse salt see it's like super big chunks of salt um this is the best for them don't use table salt or anything like that just use coarse salt and this is just like 
two bucks at the grocery store so it's not that expensive i just fill up this water bottle which is 16.9 fluent ounces of with purified water and then i put a half i put one tablespoon i put one tablespoon of salt in here and i just shake it up until it's pretty much dissolved um but yeah there you go you got salt water and you'll have to change this out at least like every two weeks just to let it be fresh so the next really important thing is humidity and heat so right now i do not have a top for this and i'm really working hard to like get a top because it's really hard to keep your tank humid without a top because like all the air and stuff just escapes um, but um, spraying it uh, at least twice a day will help the humidity also having a heater which I just put on the side of the tank you can put it underneath if you want but I just put it on the side because you need at least one area of your um, tank to be like 80 degrees and then the other like 72 74 um just so like they can have a warm area and then a colder area um but that also helps with humidity and that was just like 16 dollars and it works pretty well so the next thing is soil so i use a mixture of eco earth and regular play sand eco earth is kind of like the special dirt that's made out of like coconut husks and it keeps humidity in the area and um that was like 11 bucks at PetSmart which really isn't that much for how big a bag you would get and I got a uh, regular play sand mixed in it um which you can get 25 pounds for three bucks at Lowe's which is super super cheap and I just did that until I got at least four inches worth of this mixture and this is really important because one, the Eco Earth um, keeps humid humidity in the tank, and also it has a lot of room for your hermit crabs to molt. So molting is when your hermit crab digs down all the way pretty much to the bottom of your tank, and it basically sheds its exoskeleton because it has to grow. So the exoskeleton comes off, and it's kind of like dangling off the hermit crab shell and then it kind of eats it so like the new exoskeleton can harden and grow and then it comes up and usually transfers shells because it grew so molting takes about two months maybe three to um, finish or happen so if it's longer than like three and a half months and it smells fishy then your hermit crab might have died. So mainly if you smell something fishy, then yeah, you, you probably want to dig up your hermit crab. So as plants, I just have these two plastic plants and they work fine. Um, just as a little decoration and more color and also just to have their, the hermit crab seem more at home. And also as water bowls, I just have these two big um, bowl things um, and it comes in like a little package with a food bowl so those were like nine bucks and I got two because I needed two water bowls because of the salt and water so the last thing that's really not optional if you want your like hermit crabs to be happy and stuff is to have a hut and a climbing area so this is like a two-in-one because there's like this little opening which they can make a little hut and that's where they spend most of their time inside this and then they have this climbing area which they can climb up on and go down on because hermit crabs love to climb so make sure you have like a log or not a log but like a stick that they can climb up on or like a little ladder. Also, they'll need at least a 10 gallon tank um, because this has enough room for them to just wander around and also um, it has room so they can dig down and it fits everything perfectly. The last thing is you'll need to have at least two hermit crabs because hermit crabs are really social creatures. 
And so if you just have one, they might die of like loneliness or depression. So hopefully I went over everything. If you have any questions, definitely comment them down below. But the last thing I'm gonna do is just give you a little tour of my tank. So this is an overall look of my tank. Here's like four inches of that mixture. Over here is the um, heater. And then here's where the climbing thing is. And the little thing. Oop, there's, there's Sebastian. And I think flounder is somewhere below this area, like down here, down here, or over on the other side. I don't know where he is. Then I have some plants. And then here are my food and water bowls. Here's the food bowl. Here's the fresh water bowl. And here is the salt water so I hope bowl. this video helped you learn more about your hermit crabs and what they need to survive. And hopefully you'll do what I did and let your hermit crabs have a happy and healthy life. I'm sorry that this isn't like a normal video. I just wanted to share my knowledge and wisdom to y'all so more hermit crabs can have a happy life. I will definitely have a normal video up next week, but yeah. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope your hermit crabs have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah. Bye!